Good morning everyone! I'm heading over to the landscaping shop on this Monday morning. Today we've been hired by a ranch owner. We're going to be mowing his overgrown property. It's about two acres. There's two foot tall grass, four foot tall bushes, and we're going to be using the bobcat skid steer. So let's get to the shop and let's get the day started. If you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please consider subscribing. If you're new, and hit that like button. It is much appreciated here, but we're just getting to the shop here right around 7 a.m. It's always great uh, to get here early, especially with the earlier and earlier sunrise. And uh, it's just staying later as well here, which is great. But we're actually going to be taking our Chevy 3500 with the utility trailer here. So we'll get the uh, garage doors opened on up here now really quickly. It looks like one of the employees is already here. Wow, that is great to see, especially on a Monday morning. Everyone's still uh, thinking they it was the weekend here. But let's get the utility trailer. And then I do have to get the Bobcat skids here switched over from the bucket uh, to the brush mower here. Hopefully, we won't run into any problems there getting those hydraulic lines uh, on it. All right, we should be good right about there. Now, you guys might be asking, Square, why are you taking the your own uh, 3500? Well, the F450 is going out to do a job here, and then, actually, the mowing crew is going to be taking the Ram uh, 3500, so we just have to use it. And, hey, it's great to see it being put to work here, but I'm just going to grab a few things here in the office, just make sure everything is good to go for not only myself, but for the employees, and then we'll get going. So far guys, we've had a very busy season so far, which is really exciting. Uh, we're taking on more and more jobs here now. I am looking into getting some more equipment, even some bigger equipment, which should be pretty neat here for the uh, series here. And definitely, uh, I can't wait for all the upcoming videos to come here. But I will say guys, this Chevy 3500 I really do like. It's definitely a great daily driver, but this ranch, guys, is about 30, 35 minutes from town here. It's actually all back roads over to it, so I'm probably going to put down the camera. Just kind of enjoy the nice drive out there. Like I mentioned guys, we were actually hired by the landowner here. He actually bought the ranch three, four years ago. He bought it and just did not end up using it here. He wants to put it on the market to sell, but he said it is overgrown here. And oh boy, guys, would you look at that. Yeah, that is definitely not just grass. There's three, four foot tall weeds here. Look at all those uh, small bushes growing over there. Oh, wow. Look at that. The skid steer is going to have its work cut out here for us. This is about two acres. And he said everywhere the grass is either tall or there's bushes or even trees growing. And he said just to do the best job we can here. So that is uh, great to hear uh, that we are taking on more jobs like this here. Actually, there's a big, big profit in today's job as well. Uh, since he said no other landscaping business in town would uh, even uh, come on out here to give a quote once he explained it on the phone here so that's good for us and I just really want to have a great time using the uh, brand new T76 here hopefully though we can get some other Bobcats here in the game Oh yeah, I'm really excited here for it here. Now, we are going to be dropping a lot of grass here. Now, I did let them know that we aren't really going to probably have uh, the best looking uh, uh, after since. We're going to have a lot of clippings and things like that here. But he said just get it really all cut down it was his big worry here. But I think... I think we'll do a few passes along the driveway, and I really want to tackle alongside the roadway. That looks like that is going to be a challenge here. Four foot tall bushes that we're going to have to uh, just kind of drive on through with uh, the brush cutter. 
Now, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, please let me know here. I really, really do like using your feedback here. It really helps out the channel, and I like making these types of videos here. You guys can see there is a lot, a lot of weeds here. Just a lot happening. And oh boy, guys, there is actually a fence here. Wow, you can't even see the fence. It is just that overgrown here. But let's see if we could just kind of uh, get going on the most challenging part here first. And we're going to have to lift up the front of this a little bit more to help get the brush uh, to go under. Wow, guys, the Bobcat's really doing a good job here. We aren't even bogging down the engine, which is definitely the most surprising thing here. But you guys can see it is taking a lot of power, though. We're almost at like 95% RPM. I am having to lift it and lower it to a few different areas. But hey, we are getting the job done here. And this is definitely going to be almost three quarters to a full day's worth of work here. Just running the skid steer. Well guys, I just finished up here probably about 45 minutes on that front section. Some of the biggest bushes that we're actually going to be having to run on over here, which is definitely a good thing for us because that took a lot, a lot of time here. We want to do a good job, but we also don't really want to be here all day if we don't have to here. You guys can see, wow, look at that. The grass is even growing here in the gravel driveway. There is just a lot of overgrown uh, uh, different uh, vegetation here. Definitely a little tricky for us as well. Uh, there's rocks. I had to jump out a few times and there was even a stump. And that, if we run over, could definitely uh, damage our day here. Wouldn't be a good thing for the skid seer as well. That would definitely end up in the shop. I really do like doing skid seat work just like this here. We're in a nice AC cab just getting work done. And I've actually had to answer the phone and I've done a few online quotes here. I just Google mapped the property and I already gave like three or four quotes for a weekly lawn care. So that's great to see. Always try to be efficient. Sometimes with all the new technology nowadays, you don't have to be driving to the property here. But wow, guys, we are making really good progress. I really want to get uh, uh, probably half the property done before lunchtime if we can. That would be really good progress. It's time to tackle right around this uh, barn here. It is overgrown. It, uh, I actually did see a few bushes grown right up to it here. We were able to run right over them, which is no problem here for us. Now, one thing like I mentioned, guys, it's kind of hard to see what you're driving into. And I did notice that there's a few steep inclines and things like that here. But so far, though, I mean, this skid seer hasn't uh, done any uh, problems uh, since we've owned it, especially here today with overheating or anything, especially running it at full throttle here. But wow, just look at how overgrown it is. Definitely a good thing, guys, if you own a property to just keep on mowing it here. You definitely don't want it uh, to end up like this because we are, this is at least a few thousand dollar job that I am charging here. If not more, I have to kind of work out the final quote here because I actually am charging them hourly uh, to do this one here because there's just so many unknowns with how long this uh, type of property would take. We're just coming up on the last little bit here, probably about a quarter of an acre left here, right along the driveway here, did the side, did the back, and guys, I'm so excited to get some before and after pictures, 
and just uh, can't wait to get the call from our customer uh, saying we did a really good job here. Huge transformation. Uh, Bobcat's doing a really good job with mulching up all the clippings here as well. Almost looks like it wasn't overgrown here and actually uh, the property looks really, really good when it's all nice and mowed here. Definitely needs a little bit more work here and there. I might offer to freshen up the driveway with some new uh, half inch gravel uh, and maybe we could get some more work from the customer here. So I'll have to work that out, but I'm just going to keep on working here. It's already 1 p.m. Well guys, the job's complete here. Took seven hours here with the Bobcats. Uh, skid a steer here you guys can see we did a pretty good job here it is a little tricky some areas you guys can see a little bit of clumping but for the most part this is a huge transformation here we're going to be uh, getting a pretty big profit as well uh, just because of how I was able to bid this here but hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more